Okay, my students, today is a big day for us because we are starting our study of the rock cycle. And so I want to begin with a review of where we've come so far. So we know that not all stones are rocks, that some of them are minerals. And minerals are the ingredients of rocks, or you could say the building blocks of rocks. And to be a mineral, there are four important traits. And minerals have to meet all four of these requirements. They have to be solid, non-living, natural, and they also have to display a crystalline structure. So this geode has the mineral quartz in it. So what we're getting into now is how does nature mix up these mineral ingredients in the rock cycle, in this continuous rock cycle? And we're going to explore this through crayons. So the way this is going to work is that I'm going to start with an igneous crayon and I am going to do something to the crayon that you either write or type, depending on if you're in class or digital, um, in the next box, what we did to it. And then after that, after you watch the video of what I'm gonna do to it, then you are going to be figuring out what this is like in the rock cycle. Now let me explain this though. This is our first exploration of the rock cycle. So it is okay if you are not, um, perfect on your answers. You just need to get a good thought about what this could actually represent in nature. So let's get going. Okay, so we are starting, oops. Okay, we are starting here with an igneous crayon. And this is already typed for you in your doc. And here's what I want you to write in the next box, that what we're about to do is shave it into small chunks. So again, we're gonna shave it into small chunks. So check out what I have down here. So I have already taken two crayons, a pink and it's kind of hard to see a white crayon and I've done this, but now I'm taking a gray crayon and I'm doing the same thing to it. Okay, so what I want you thinking about now is what is this really like in the rock cycle? That goes in your next box. After you write that, you'll see the video for step two.